Hello everyone, uh, this is Sean Hargreaves. I'm just going to go over uh, basic proportions of a male and female um, for your character bases. Um, I'm just going to show you average uh, scales for a male and female and then you can proportion up from there when you do your uh, superhero characters or your game characters. Um, but you always want to start off with uh, what's true to a regular human. So um, here we have a, a, a male and uh, silhouetted out and an, an average male is about 5'10 and um, um, his height when you when you draw him out um, regardless of the actual height of your, your, your character, of your man, um, there are still proportional things you want to take into consideration. Um, so for example, um, a man regardless of his height is, is, is really around eight, eight heads high. Um, some males when they get quite tall their heads get smaller so there is a disparity in proportion with regards to that but um, you know you fiddle around with that once you've once you've got your scale when you, once you've got your uh, figure scaled up um, but at least start out with um, an eight head high man um, basically this is where the heads lay out so the bottom of the knee is head number two the cr top of the the crotch is head number four. The navel is head number five. The nipples, chest area, ne le um, the six heads, and the bottom of the chin is seven heads. So, you know, this helps with with lining up the key, you know, some key proportional areas. In terms of the width of the shoulders. Um, you want to go off the, uh, the, the width of the head. The width of the shoulders are two and a third heads wide. So here you see where the tips of the shoulders lie on a typical male. Um, the width of uh, a male's waist is about one and a half heads wide. Beautiful printing. Um, yeah, one of a one and a half heads wide. Um, so you know you you want to get these kind of pieces down um, before you start distorting into some kind of uh, massive warrior superhero. So here we are with the with the male. Let's just review this again. Uh, one and a half heads wide on the waist. Two and a third heads wide on the tips of the shoulders. Eight heads tall. Notice where all this stuff lines up. The, the tips of the hands are going to be about two thirds down from the fourth head height or one third up from the third head height so study this these kind of very simple straightforward proportions are just numbers to keep in your head when you're basing out your the silhouette of your figure you start to sketch out the base figure um, let's look at the woman now Here we have a uh, average female, which is five foot four. Um, she's also eight heads high. You can see here where everything lies. Still just underneath the knee. Around the crotch area here. A little above the nipples. 
Uh, bust with a chin, top of the head. My shoulders and a woman are narrower. We've got two, actually, it's two heads wide, not two of the third. Um, away with you. Two heads wide. Um, um, you know, the power on a lot of women um, superheroes, it comes from the waist down. Strong legs, uh, strong calves. Um, you can build up the shoulders some, but not too much because you start getting into a uh, you know, it starts looking uh, too manly, for lack of a better word. Um, and uh, most women, actually, when you see them in the gym, uh, their the, the shoulders get rather pointy when they've been working out um, on them for, for a while. It's not really a massive, bulky thing like a, a bodybuilder, like a man. Um, it's, it's, it's a different proportion. You can get quite, these points out here can get quite pointy and zipping right in um, into the waist. So the shoulders are two heads wide, uh, the waist is one head wide, um, ideally. I mean, of course, there's going to be people out there that are going to go, this is ridiculous, this is too narrow and blah, blah, blah. But you know, when you're doing these characters for um, for games, for example, you, know, you, pr you push the proportions somewhat. Um, but definitely, definitely start with this basis here and uh, move up from there um, to you know get your warrior woman or superhero woman etc etc now um, when you one thing that you have to always remember when you're doing um, male and female figures visually the visual weight um, is you've got to remember to visually the silhouette gets pushed in and up so a female is the silhouette gets pushed in and pushed up it makes her lighter visually right the male on the other hand on the other hand gets pushed out and down it gives him weight down it gives him a stance um, gives him solidity um, but a female is, is just lighter visually lighter she's vis visually um, you know everything is, is just higher up and everything is for a male is just it's got more visual weight so those are two, um, well, that's one, you know, it's the two, two key elements there in terms of uh, the difference between male and female. Um, out and down, up and in, or in and up. Um, so that's it in terms of uh, basic proportional silhouettes of a male and female. I hope this helps you guys, and I will see you later.